Hi Techie guys, I'm Nankishore Swami and today we would be learning about capturing the entire desktop screen. In the last tutorial, we learned about how we can capture only the application using Peggle's uh, default method called get screenshot. But to capture the entire desktop screen, we do not have any, I mean, uh, as of now, I'm not aware if there is any method in the Pega that we can uh, capture the entire desktop uh, irrespective of the application. So uh, in, in this method, we are going to utilize the systems in build uh, a functionality. So let's get started. Uh, go ahead and create a new project. And give a name. Capture desktop. Click OK. So once you have your project ready, we need to utilize the two different DLL from system itself. So we'll go to the toolbox and add those uh, two DLLs functionality here in our toolbox. So just right click on, so just right click on uh, any of these options. You can right click and just go to choose item. So right click and then choose item. So to capture the entire desktop screen, we would need two different things. One's the screen. Another one is the graphic of that screen. So just go to the Pega Robotics Static Members and then click on from Global Assembly. So just click on the global assembly, go to the drop down, and the first one that we need is system, then windows, system.windows.form, system. dot windows dot form. And under the system.windows.form, we would need screen. So just find your screen and from the screen we would need if you are using a dual desktop or dual monitor then you can use uh, all screens so since I'm using only one uh, desktop screen so I'm going to use primary screen so it's under system.windows.form and uh, from there we need to go to the screen and then select the primary screen and click on OK and the second DLL that we would need is uh, graphic so this one will give you the entire uh, screen's uh, statics. But the next one that we would need is uh, graphic of that screen. So the graphic uh, is available under system.drawing. So now locate your system.drawing. system dot drawing so you can choose any of this that doesn't make any difference so from system dot drawing we would need graphic and from the graphic we would need image from image from the image we'll get the graphics let's click on ok so we would need these uh, two different DLLs uh, in in order to take the screenshot of the entire screen so I'm so once we are done adding these two component we will drag and just drop it in your automation so we'll have this automation in the two part one is to capture the entire screen and another one is to uh, convert that screen into the image and then save it so we'll start our automation on the project start so let's go to the toolbox and locate your project start runtime start so it's at the all project start our automation will triggered and we'll terminate it once it's done running we'll terminate the runtime so it would be somewhere here okay now go to the object explorer and extract the screen proxy so from the primary screen once you extract the proxy you will get the screen uh, uh, proxy
so for that screen we would need um, certain properties say for example bounds and then from bound we would need the screen's boundary which is height and width uh, again we need to extract the proxy and that proxy would contain uh, height and width of the screen so this is the height and the width so i'll just reduce the size so here we have height of the screen and width of the screen so we'll supply this height and width uh, of the screen to uh, to the graphics to create the graphic of the screen and to get the graphic or the bitmap uh, image we would need uh, one of the dl uh, component which is uh, system.drawing and for that we would need to click on this one add constructor for type so just click on this and click on somewhere in the automation any blank area you can click it just click and it will show you this uh, drop down type so i'll just click it again and then type system then drawing oh sorry then dot system dot drawing dot bitmap and the image that uh, we are going to sh save in a um, bitmap format so we need to choose this one 32 bit 32 bit height width and uh, uh, pixel formats so these are the three parameter it will uh, ask so this is our bitmap image so now we already have the height and width of the screen so we'll split it so here we sorry here we have the width then the height and then the image format so the format that we are going to save it in 32-bit um, uh, rgb and this should be okay to convert our screen into a bitmap format bitmap image basically and then we'll have another function or the another one here part of this automation to save this image so i'm going to add a limit uh, label to save the image save image and once we are done with our first section we'll jump it to the save image there we are and in the save image we need to use this graphic things in the gra in this graphic will uh, it need an input parameter which is image and the image is our uh, new bitmap so just select to our new bitmap then go to this and have the image to be supplied as an input parameter so now we have the image there and the result again we need to extract the proxy and in this proxy we need to use a method from this proxy called as copy from screen so just select this uh, graphic proxy and locate the method called copy from screen with five parameter actually and if you look at the five parameter these are more like source uh, x axis y axis in dimension and the uh, background region size so these are all uh, or are, the, are the part of our rectangle uh, proxy so i'll just uh, select the rectangle proxy and then go to the property
and just uh, add it to left, right, and X and Y. So I would need this left. So our image is ready now. We need to save it. So to save, we would need a save method of our bitmap. So our bitmap, just select the bitmap and drag to save method. Oh, sorry, we are look, looking at the properties. So just locate your save method. There we go. Again, all those uh, five methods are there. Okay. And in the second one, we need to supply the two things. One is the file name, another one is file format. So here again, we are going to save um, our file in the same folder, which is screenshot. And I'm going to type the name of this image as desktop screen.png. Stop screen dot png and now we need to supply the format as well so format we need to choose from the list which is we are going to save it as a png and at the end we'll terminate the runtime once we are done running our automation so now we are done with our automation so just to summarize we would need uh, two dll one is uh, uh, system.windows.form. Then from there, we need to uh, go to the screen and uh, pick up the primary screen. And the second one is system.graphics, uh, uh, sorry, system.drawings. And from the drawings, we need to pick up the graphic. And from the graphic, we need to choose uh, from image. So we'll use these two proper, uh, these two components of from the two different DLLs. And the first one, we need to use um, uh, I mean the first method that we'll use to capture the entire screen and the second one we'll use uh, to convert that screen into the image and save it. So let's go ahead and run it and see how it works. So let me minimize the screen so we just make sure that uh... okay our automation is done running so let's see how is the output look like since we minimize the screen should just to make sure that our desktop uh, is completely captured so i'll just open it up It seems like image is not captured properly. So when I look at the solution, oh, okay. So here we are supplying the left and right. That should be like left and top and then X, Y and sides. So let's delete it and correct it. So I'll go back to the object explorer, then rectangle, then left. Then we would need top instead of right. So I'll just select it again and search for the top. Then X and Y. And then sides. Now connect all these. And run it again. Just save it and run. So before you run it, just resize so you can make sure the screen is captured properly. So I'm going to run it again. And let's go to the folder and check if the image is captured or not. So open it. 
okay there we go so this time it's all good so in this one you can see this entire desktop is captured and in the other ones uh, you can see as uh, only the screens uh, of the particular application is captured so uh, so far we learned about capturing the uh, particular application screen and how we can capture the entire desktop screen and we can also capture if you are having the like multiple desktop then we need to choose uh, all screen from system.windows.form dll so that's it in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in next video